kids been asked by their school or maybe even a youth group to perform some community service hours and they're just not sure what to do? Well, in this video, I'll share with you some great community service ideas for tweens and for teens. I'm Sharon Rowley from Mamo 6 and today I am sharing community service ideas for tweens and teens. Many of these ideas that I'll be talking about are things that we did in a youth group that I helped to lead for my daughters. We made community service the focus of what we did in this group because we wanted to teach kids a lesson about kindness and that through the act of community service to others it can make a significant difference in someone else's life and that in turn makes us feel really good too. So kindness to others is also a practice of kindness to ourselves. Now we generally pick projects that we can actively do together during our meeting times, rather than asking the kids to do something in kind and in service on their own. We broke our efforts down into four categories, service projects that can help kids, service projects to help animals, service projects to benefit local organizations, and service project to thank those that serve our community. So let's start with service projects to help other kids. And I'm going to start by telling you about an organization called Soul Hope. They create shoes for children in Uganda who suffer from something called jiggers. They're small parasites that bury themselves in the children's feet and eventually it makes it impossible for the kids to walk, play, and just be kids. You can get involved with Soul Hope as a community service project by cutting pattern pieces out of denim using old jeans that you own and plastic pieces from milk jugs. These pieces are then joined together to create a shoe kit and you send these out to Uganda along with a $10 donation and that goes to help tailors um, that the program hires to sew these shoe kits into shoes for the kids. So the cool thing is, is not only are you providing shoes for kids in need, but you're also putting people to work to sew the shoes, and that's an amazing thing. You can visit soulhope.org to purchase a shoe party kit. It includes a video that you can show to the kids which explains the problem with jiggers, and it provides the patterns that you can use to cut out the shoe pieces. A second idea that's fun to make are these no-sew hats and scarves. These are simple fleece projects that a tween or a teen group can do to donate to a local homeless shelter or a women's shelter. You can make them for kids or you can make them large enough to fit an adult. I'll include links to the tutorials for these projects so you can see just how easy they are to make. Now let's move on to service project ideas for animals, because kids love to work on any kind of service project for animals, whether that's actually working with the animals or just creating something to give to them. One idea is to make no-sew dog toys out of fleece, which are great to donate to an animal shelter, but always call and ask if they'll accept the toys before you go through the process of making them. Another cool idea is to participate in clicker training. Our group spent an afternoon volunteering at a local animal shelter learning how to do clicker training to help train dogs and get them ready for their new homes. Clicker training can be conducted outside of the animal enclosures, which is for the safety of younger volunteers. In essence, you're just reinforcing the dog's behavior. You're teaching them sit and down, and you click with the clicker, and you give them a small treat. You toss that into the enclosure as they perform the command. A third idea is to visit a therapeutic riding center and learn how volunteers can help to take care of the horses, as well as be of assistance to special needs riders. It was here that we learned we could collect used riding equipment, like helmets, boots, and pants, for donation to our local therapeutic riding center. Sometimes the best way to get involved in a community service project is to spend some time visiting local organizations so that you can learn what they do and how you can get involved as a volunteer. We also visited a center that cares for miniature therapy donkeys that visit nursing homes, schools, and hospitals. The donkeys need to be walked every day for exercise, so that's what we did. Now let's talk about some service project ideas that benefit local organizations. 
our group spent some time at our local food bank to understand the service that they provide to our own community to help out those who need access to donated food, toiletries, and clothing. We created small toiletry kits that included shampoo and washcloths, soap, combs, and lotion, and that the food bank could use to give out to their clients. Another idea is hosting a Project Linus blanket making party and donate your homemade blankets to the local food bank. We did this along with donating some diapers that we collected through a diaper drive. And there are many things that you can do at a local senior center who would love to have the gift of time with younger people. Things like lead a bingo party, offer manicures. We've done this actually for seniors at our local VA hospital. Read books or magazines together. Interview a senior to get their life story and then type it up, add some artwork, and give it to them as a gift. And the folks at the Senior Center may be in need of volunteers to help out with events that they've already planned, so just ask. And finally, we have some service project ideas to thank those who serve the community. Thank a police officer. I love this idea from Smashed Peas and Carrots that you can use to create a thank you package of candy and drop it off at your local police station. Happy Money Saver has a beautiful printable label that you can apply to a mason jar, fill it with some red candy, and drop off a group of these gifts at your local firehouse. Our youth group put together nurse appreciation bags to take to the nurses at our local veterans facility. Inside of the bags, we included a framed quote that highlighted the kindness of nurses. We also tucked in a bottle of good quality hand lotion which was much appreciated when you think of how often nurses have to wash their hands. Who Arted created this fun printable that can be packaged along with candy, warm socks, hand cream, whatever you think would be a fun gift to give to your local mail carrier. So there you have it, some great community service project ideas for tweens and teens. I'll drop links for everything that I've talked about down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our videos. I'll see you soon.